My painting right now is at the art gallery until January of 2015 and it's here for anyone to come look at. But after that, I would like the painting to go to the different First Nation communities in Atlantic Canada. You know, there's so many survivors that don't talk and that haven't spoke and that haven't shared their story. There's so many of them that are still ashamed, still afraid, that still don't speak their language, that still don't practice their culture. And I think this will be a way for them to feel that they're honored and that their culture is important to them and that we do want to hear what they have to say. I always was a fan of Mikhail Jean Foundation and I always am I'm so amazed by her her and just the grace that she goes about of mending justice and you know youth and bringing it up, bringing it all together and I'm just so amazed with her and to be able to be a part of it I still like somebody pinch me because it doesn't feel real right now I still can't believe that this is happening art is such a powerful tool of awareness and I feel like this is really going to open up a lot of doors and that there's going to be a ripple effect and there's going to be more and more pieces based on this type of powerful and horrific historic event which has happened in Canada that needs to be said and so being able to be a voice to the voiceless it means the world to me. To have this platform for my art is a big deal it's so I can have a voice and I can let others behind me have a voice. The things like this aren't they're not not spoken about seeing something so vulgar and out front like that, it raises questions. It makes people think of those those questions, those answers, and you know, it makes it talked about. So it's not hidden anymore. And that's why I did that art piece is so people will see it and know that these things are allowed to be talked about. And it means everything to be able to finally say, this is what happened and I'm not afraid of it anymore. It means a lot for me to have this, this platform to express myself and for um, Tyquil as well, who wasn't able to come today. But um, I, know, I know it means a lot just for us to have our voices heard. I think it's great that the Michel Jean Foundation has afforded artists like us an opportunity to be able to share the work with an audience that typically wouldn't get a chance to hear the type of expression that the young people have shared today. And it's one thing to kind of be in a space working with young people to produce the work, it's a very different thing to be able to share it. It means a lot. And Taekwell too, I mean, it'll be interesting to see how this unfolds for him, coming from a very challenging background and, and dealing with, with things that most kind of people don't have to deal with. The hope is that by having venues like this, his voice will grow, mature and develop. I think in future, the courage and the strength to come out to a public forum like this and stand behind what he produces will become possible. So I applaud the, uh, the Michel Jean Foundation for affording us that uh, opportunity. My artwork's going to be in the Art Gallery of Nova Scotia for the next couple months and it's really great that it's going to have that audience. Being chosen for the fourth fall, it gives me an opportunity to not only get my artwork out there, but it gives me the confidence to go about pursuing a career in art. I'm able to get my artwork out there as well as message about sexual assault and how victims are silenced. People will get the chance to interpret it in their own ways. This platform really means a lot to me and it's really great for the Mikhail Jean Foundation to pri provide this opportunity for myself and the other artists around Canada that they have chosen to be part of the fourth wall. I'm really grateful to the Mikel Jean Foundation for putting this together and exhibiting at the AGNS is obviously a really wonderful opportunity for my work moving forwards and I'm very grateful as an emerging artist to be exhibiting in a provincial institution. I think it's obviously a springboard for um, many opportunities in the future and uh, the project that I'm working on I'm glad uh, can give a voice to other people and everything else that's going on in the world. The title of my piece is Hashtag Justice. It's an LED display that reads Twitter feed, anything tagged justice comes across the feed. The idea of the project was to sort of create an open discussion around the word and to facilitate a conversation of what justice means today. Um, having my art piece in the part of the Michael Jean Foundation has um, really given me an opportunity to have my piece shown to many other people and being seen by many other people 
has really affected me and gave me a lot of confidence. I feel like since I've had this opportunity, I'll be able to do many more things. To have my art in this platform with the Mikhail Jean uh, Foundation it means a lot because it's uh, an important message that I feel is uh, worth getting out there and sharing with youth. We made an untitled video piece that addresses masculinity, femininity, and uh, basically the social construct of gender. Having an opportunity to display artwork in a provincial gallery on a, on a really public basis or sphere is uh, really important to my career. Again, art educator, but also an artist primarily. And my partner who I worked with, Johnny Can, he's um, working as an artist as well. So it gives us both the opportunity to have our work out there and displayed. I don't think youth often get enough of a platform to really speak their minds and aren't given enough credit. Um, so to be able to be a part of that, um, I feel really honored. And as an art educator, it inspires me to uh, give youth that same opportunity in the future.